Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on my channel. For this week's review, it's just gonna be me basically showing you I have no self-control because I um, I let TikTok make me buy something else. In this video, we're gonna be testing out something I have been seeing all over my TikTok right now. So this is the Colorwell Raise the Roof Thicken and Lift Spray. I have been seeing this bad boy all up on my TikTok. The main thing that I saw that made me wanna try this so bad was this before from Colorwell itself and then this after. And as you can see, 99% of the time, my hair is super flat. Like I've always complained about this. If you are a new subscriber, hi. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello again. I have from day one always said, I don't have the best hair in my opinion. It's very fine, it's very fly away. There is not a lot going on in the volume department. I look like the grudge 99% of the time. So I'm hoping if this can make even the slightest bit of difference, I'm gonna be mega happy. So I bought this from Amazon for $17.99. At the time, I think it was on sale, Boxing Day sales, January sales, who knows at this point. So many sales, literally anything to make you think you're getting a bargain, even if you're not. But I think it usually retailed on Amazon roughly around like 21, 22 pounds. 150 milliliters in the bottle and you also get a nice ch -ch -ch. You can use this on wet as well as dry hair. It's looking very flat today as per usual. All you'll need for this is a hair dryer because it's heat activated. You'll need the product, obviously. You will need a round brush don't have one of these please get one because they just change the game when it comes to drying your hair it just makes everything a little bit more Ooh. and if you really put your back into it you can do a nice bouncy blow dry with the rest of your hair make it all curly like the hairdressers do but just if you have a moroccan oil brush like i do i didn't know you could take this bit out. Not only can you use it as a dagger to stab your enemies, you can also use it to help section your hair out really nice and neat. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you behind here. So a nice clean section and then again, I can't see what I'm doing because I've not got my glasses on or my contacts in. But that is a good section of the front of my hair. And as I was actually prepared for this video, I have a clip. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep my hair exactly like this. I'm just gonna move my temporary emo fringe out of the way and just see what the instructions are. Spray on damp hair, making sure to concentrate on root. Style as desired may also be used on dry hair for an instant lift and shape. There we go. Smell test. Smells great. I love my new look. I wish these baby hairs were just not for a minute. I'm so happy I've got new regrowth, but at the same time, I'm so annoyed that I've got new regrowth. Right. As it's only a really small section of hair that I'm working with, I'm not gonna use like too much. Excuse me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna brush it through a little bit. Try not to get it on my face. The texture of my hair feels a bit gritty. So as you saw, I dried my hair as best I can. Obviously I don't have rollers to leave my hair in for a minute to really get that extra volume. I did also give it a blast of cool air just to really quicken the process, honestly, because I'm very impatient. I just wanna see what my hair looks like when I take it out with this roller. First thing I will say, as soon as I started to dry my hair, I felt my hair just go from like wet to like a piece of cement. It was so solid and I, you could see I was struggling. I was struggling a little bit. Next thing was that my baby hairs decided that they were gonna start a new life. Pointing that way, on the top of my head. Smells great, easy to do. Probably would be a lot easier if I was maybe drying my hair just because I could really like get into the roots. Uh, I feel like maybe it's time. I think it's time. Okay, so let's unroll it. Do one brush and then I wish my background wasn't so dark just this one time because I wish you could see what my hair looks like. I'll go like this a bit more, you can kind of see. So if I just part my hair like the Red Sea where it would normally go without very much zhuzhing, this is what we're working with. I'm gonna grab a screenshot of earlier on in this video because I absolutely completely forgot to take one. So this is what my hair looked like before I used the spray. And this is what my hair looks like after. 
There is definitely a difference in volume. I can 100% see that. It's lucky that it smells amazing because it the smell is quite strong. It's nice, so I'm not mad about it. It's definitely made a difference to the bump in my hair where it comes down. I didn't need to use a massive amount of it. Probably could have gotten away with using that amount on all of the top of my hair. Compared to the original picture that I was talking about, my hair doesn't look as crazy. But I don't know if that's because she they did that because that definitely makes my hair look like four times the height. But it's the fact that it's just like staying up. Can you see that it's in sections? It's just staying up in slices because there's holes. There you go. The one time looking overexposed actually helps. <laughs> look at the, the sections. What if I put it all back? Keep my baby hairs away. I don't know what it is with my parting here. I don't know if I'm parting it in the wrong way. This side is always flatter. However, it is a lot not flatter than it normally is. Compared to some of the videos I've seen on TikTok, my experience isn't as extreme as the others. Doesn't mean it's not still a good one. I'm gonna keep trying with this because I just feel like for a first time, that was probably like a six or seven out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10 for the smell though. I love the smell. I think I need to practice a bit more with this to really get the, the bouffant that that lady had in the first video. Thickening aspect as well, great. It feels different to the hair on the back of my head. So yeah, that is it for this week's video. Testing out the TikTok viral Raise the Roof Thickening Lift Spray. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know. If there's any products you want me to try as well, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well as follow me on my socials. I've got an Instagram, I've got a Vinted, and I've got a TikTok, obviously. Thank you again so much for spending your time with me this week. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week, whatever it is you are doing, and I will see you next time for another one. Bye guys.